Hello, fellow flourishers. I love that. I love the new name of our women's ministry at Odessa Christian Faith Center. I love it. It's so powerful and it's so classy, just like the women of Odessa Christian Faith Center. And you know, to flourish, to flourish just means to grow and to thrive in a favorable environment. And man, are we planted in a favorable environment. And you know, I just want to encourage you. I know that this is a weird time, and but I really feel like there's something great and big and huge about to happen in the body of Christ and, and really across the world. And I think that we can all feel it in the atmosphere. And I just want to encourage you to stay connected, stay connected to God through His Word, stay connected to the church through our social media pages, through YouTube, and just pray about what's coming and pray about, um, be excited and pray about what, what's the, this next level to where I know that we are going. And today I just wanna share some scriptures with you and I wanna share a song with you. And today we're gonna look at Luke 8, if you wanna follow along. It's Luke 8 verses one through three. It says, not long afterward, Jesus began a tour of the nearby cities and villages to announce the good news concerning the kingdom of God. So here's Jesus, and he's about to go out and, you know, to these different cities to tell about the good news. And it says he took his 12 disciples with him. And here's the verse that gets overlooked a lot. And it's verse two. And it says, along with some women, he had healed and from whom he had cast out evil spirits. You know, here this proves to us that these were regular women. These women had a past. These women had been healed. These uh, women were previously broken and now God had healed them and cast out these evil spirits. And it says among them were Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. We all know about her. Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's business manager, Susanna, and many others, many others, who, and if you're following along, you should definitely underline this, it says, who were contributing from their own resources to support Jesus and his disciples. And you know, when it talks about their resources, I don't think necessarily that it's just talking about their money, although I truly believe these women were contributing money to the ministry, but uh, resources speaks to, your gifts and abilities and your talents and your time and just whatever you have to give. And I really believe that God is calling us to rise up, uh, to follow him, to give our resources, our time, our gifts and abilities, our, our time. And honestly, when I read about these women, it, it really reminds me of a lot of the women of Odessa Christian Faith Center already. And you know, as we get come together in community and create a community where other women can come and join us and be a part of something big, uh, we're just gonna all flourish together. And I'm really excited and you should be excited. And I just wanna encourage you today. And I'm gonna do a song for you uh, really quick. And it's called, The God Who Moves the Mountains.
Thank you for watching and God bless you.